All righty, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms YouTube channel. We're on this channel. We are pure country. <clears throat> okay, I did a video about a week ago, and I took the, uh, I had two boxes on here for the winter time. I took the top box, and I moved it to the bottom because there really wasn't much going on on the bottom. This hive is kind of weak, so I wanted to kind of condense them a little bit, take away some of that space. Bees do better in smaller spaces. I took frames of honey, put it on the outside. I kind of checkerboarded. Um, some of the frames that had comb on them already. The, the cluster was in the middle. So what I'm doing today, I was going to wait a couple weeks to open it, but I want to take I want to take the insulated inner cover off. I think it's warm enough now. I want to put my I want to put my inner cover on. I actually made my own. These are a lot stronger, a lot sturdier. These will hold up a lot better than the other ones that you. you I mean, you could buy them and they're perfectly fine. But I just wanted to make this. I put three holes in, um, so there's plenty of place to get up, obviously, to the hive top feeder. But I'm going to <laughs> open this up. I'm going to take the, the screen candy board out of it, box out of it that holds the candy board. I really don't think we need any of this anymore. I'm going to put this on just in case, actually, um, in case they're a little aggressive. <laughs> And hopefully I see some kind of activity, good activity going on in here. If not, I'm going to have to get a, hopefully this hive makes, I'm going to have to get a queen and requeen this hive. There's nothing going on. Today's what, April 5th? I got new packages coming sometime this month. So I'm going to take this off. Put this over here. I'm going to take the screen candy board off. Put that over there. There's still some bees on it. Put the sugar cakes right here. They ate some of the pollen patties that was in here, which I'm going to leave those back in. Actually, I'm going to leave this on. I forget what I forgot. What I want to do is I started feeding them sugar water. Let me put this right here. I don't got enough room. I need like a whole table out here. I put sugar syrup on there last week. Beginning of the week, it's been warm out. It's not freezing out at night anymore. So I put the sugar syrup on. So I can start getting some syrup into them. It's not freezing at night, though. If it does get a little cold, it won't hurt nothing. Because I want to get them from the top and get down to the bottom and start drinking up that syrup. So we're going to see what's kind of going on. I have a feeling not a lot's going on in here, actually. I'm hoping I see something. I have a feeling this hive is queenless. There's not a lot of bees in here. There's some honey on this frame. Let me put this here. There is nectar in here. There's some pollen. It does look like there maybe is some cat brood. It'd be nice to see the queen. I don't see the queen. I'm hoping there is a queen in here, like I said. Because there's not a lot of bees in here. A lot of them could be out foraging right now. Some of the trees are starting to bloom a little bit. I'm going to start marking my queens this year, too. Make it a little bit easier to find them. 
I'll put this back in here. Sometimes if you blow on them a little bit, you can kind of, don't blow on them hard, but if you blow on them, they'll just kind of move around. I'm trying to see if I spot the queen. Yeah, marking these guys will give you a lot easier to spot them. Some honey here. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on in here. I hope it, I hope this hive makes it. There's nothing going on, on the outside. These outside frames, which I didn't think there would be. What I'm going to do is put all this back together just the way it was. Like I said, I'm going to start feeding them the sugar water, the sugar syrup. You can see this cluster isn't very big, but a lot of the bees could be out too. It's nice out now. Oh, there she is. I just seen her. There she is, right there. I'm going to look at the camera here. She's right. Look at the camera. Where'd she go? Now she's right in here somewhere. I just seen her. Now she's buried in bees. Let me see. She's right there. I don't know if you can see, it's hard to see through my mask, but she's right. So there is a queen, which is good. Woohoo. I don't see any eggs. I, I don't see any any fresh laid eggs. I, uh, maybe I ah, uh, there's some eggs. There's some, there's some larvae. Okay, there we go. So something is happening in here. That's why I want to get the feed to them really quick. Okay, so I see my queen. I seen some eggs. The bees are working, and I'm going to put this all back together, and I'm going to leave them alone. So I did see some eggs, which is good. We're going to start feeding them. Watch out. Start feeding the sugar syrup. This frame's got some honey on it still. I'm going to scrape some of this stuff off of here. Clean some of this up a little bit. Yeah, there's nothing in there. And a little bit of pile and some nectar out here. There is some nectar in this frame, but I don't see any eggs, so we're going to just put this back in. So like I said, we're going to take away the insulated inner cover. I don't think we need that anymore. 
I think it's going to get that cold now. A little freezing and frosty in there for it to build up condensation. I am going to put my screen candy board back on. But first, I'm going to put my inner cover on. I'm going to put this on. And then, whenever you put your covers on, always kind of put them on site. Well, let me get this out. This would help if I took this out of the way, huh? Put your covers on, and then just kind of slide them so you don't crush anybody. Especially at this stage of the game, I can't afford to lose any bees. Put that on there. And I'm going to leave this on for now. And I'm going to keep my pollen patties up here if they want it. These screen candy boards, I love these. This worked out really, really well. So there is an upper entrance, so they can come through the, they can come through the inner cover up into here if they want. And they can get, I'm just going to leave the pollen patties in here for now. I like do. I, I'm going to do this better. I'm, ugh, rephrase that. I'm going to do this instead of putting them right on top of the frames. Uh, you can put them on top of the frames, and that works just fine. But then they stick to the frames and. Just kind of makes a mess. This is kind of nicer. It brings it right up. There's plenty of holes for them to come through here. And they can get in here. And if they want to eat out of this pollen patties, they can. I'll check back with this stuff later. But they're starting to bring pollen in, so they really don't need it. It's not as crucial. Uh, but the sugar candy, I am taking it, taking it away because I want to encourage them to get down to the bottom and drink syrup. So that's kind of my story. Put this all back together. They've drank... I filled this bottle, how much, how far, I don't think you can see there's a line on here, it's about an inch down. I actually put that on Monday. I put that bottle on Monday, and they've drank it down really, really slow. But now that I took the sugar away, it'll move them down into the hive a little bit, and uh, they'll start drinking the syrup. Let me get this off. They'll start drinking the syrup. Which is kind of what I want. So yeah, hopefully they move down the hive. They start drinking the syrup. Like I said, it went down. You're not, you're not supposed to really start doing sugar syrup until it's not freezing anymore. But I've seen some people up in Canada, and they're feeding their bees. They're feeding sugar syrup now. It's crucial. You want to get that. You want to get that feed into them. They need the protein. So yeah, you want to start getting the sugar syrup in them. Uh, taking away the hard sugar, start getting the liquid syrup in them. Uh, the nectar flow is going to start pretty soon. Some of the trees are blooming. There is pollen coming in. They're not even touching my pollen substitute now. And if you watch them flying in, I can see there's a bee right here. She's got a little bit of yellow in her pouches there. So getting the sugar syrup into them, they need to feed. They need to get that into them to simulate the nectar, the nectar flow. So that's what's going on here. So we will come back. I'm really happy. Like I said, I've seen eggs. There's some cap brood. I found my queen. I am gonna start like I say, start, I'm gonna start marking queens this year. It'd just be a lot easier to spot her. I forget what color. I don't have the right color pen that you're supposed to use for the year, but I really don't care. I'm not selling them. They're just here for my own purpose. I think I got a red pen because red, red will be really easy to spot. I think red was last. I'm not sure what. The, I forget how the color chart goes. But I'm not going to use, uh, I'm not doing the right color for this year. But it doesn't matter, I'm not selling them. It's just for my own purpose. I will mark in my own notes what, um, what colors for what year anyway. So anyways, I got the syrup on there. Like I said, it took them about a week to drink about an inch. So a lot of, part of that is because they were up on the sugar. So that's why I want to take the sugar away. Like I said, get them into the, uh, get them into the, into the syrup. I'll have to keep a close eye on that. Once this colony starts to build up pretty heavy, then I'm going to put the hive top or the uh, top feeders on, which holds about two gallons of syrup. When my new packages come, those will get the hive top. Those will get the hive top feeders because that'll there'll be a lot of bees in there, and they'll be drinking a lot of syrup. So I want my girls to be as healthy as they can because there's not a lot of them in here. They've made it so far. Hopefully they. Hopefully it just keeps going this way. There's a lot of pollen coming in here. I can see it on their legs and their pouches. It's all yellow. It's not coming from there. So they're finding it somewhere, which is good. It's warm days. It would be 70 tomorrow. If the sun popped out now, it'd be beautiful. So anyways, YouTube, that is my story. I'm happy. 
I'm going to have to keep an eye on that sugar syrup now because I'm taking their sugar, their hard sugar away. And what I think I'm going to do next winter or next fall, late fall, early winter, instead of making the sugar bricks, I'm going to just go to the dollar store and get those little silver, you know, little cheap little silver uh, cooking pans, you know, the aluminum pans. I'm going to set that in and just pour the dry sugar in. That might be just easier for them to eat because it's not hard. Obviously, the, the condensation in the hive will harden that a little bit, but maybe not as hard as those sugar cakes are. I'm just going to remelt that down and just use it in my sugar syrup. So, yeah. But we don't want to talk about winter and next fall. Like we want to talk about spring, especially up here in northern Illinois where it's been lousy. We want to talk about warmth. We don't want to talk about winter and fall feeding right now. We want to talk about our bees making babies and making honey and the whole shot. So I think that's it. So for now, if now hopefully hopefully you uh, you like the video, you're following along here on some of this stuff. Consider subscribing to the channel. Help, help me grow this channel. If you do subscribe, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Click the bell. You will get notified uh, every time I make a video. Um, some, sometimes I just come out here with my phone. Boom, make a video and upload it right away. Other times I set the camera up so I could do some more in-depth stuff here. But, uh, yeah, so, so consider subscribing. Help, help me grow this channel. I really appreciate it. So from, for now, YouTube, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.